Model Set 1, Page 3 Continued 1. Assonance is produced A. By repeating the same vowel sounds in syllables which differ in their final consonants. 2. How far that little candle throws his beams, so shines a good deed in a naughty world. Which figure of speech is used in the lines? A. Simile. 3. Identify the figure of speech in the following line. Quote, roll on, thou deep and dark blue sea, comma, roll, unquote, stop. B. Apostrophe. 4. Which figure of speech is used in the following line? Quote, so innocent arch, comma, so cunningly simple. C. Oxymoron. 5. A man's nature runs either to herbs or weeds. Therefore, let him seasonably water the one and destroy the other. Identify the figure of speech used in this sentence. D. Antithesis. 6. Who introduced the term, quote, esmeplastic in agination? Unquote. B. Coleridge. 7. The term esmeplastic means A. To shape into one. 8. Who made the command that fancy is, quote, the arbitrary to bringing together of things that lie remote and forming them into a unity, unquote, stop. C. Coleridge. 9. Quote, in mist or cloud, or must or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whiles all the night through fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. Unquote. Which of the following rhymes is found in these lines? C. Internal rhyme. 10. Which poetic device occurs twice in the following line? Quote, the lazy cows wrench many a scented flower. Unquote, stop. B. Assonance. 11. Alexander Buzo is a famous Australian D. Dramatist. 12. In which work Wordsworth observed that his poems were, quote, an experiment to ascertain how far the language of conversation in the middle and lo lower classes of society is adapted to the purpose of poetic pleasure, unquote, question mark. C. The advertisement of lyrical ballads. 13. By, quote, selection of language really used by men, unquote, Wordsworth means, C, the language of men in a state of vivid sensation. 14. To whom Wordsworth wrote, quote, Every great poet is a teacher. I wish either to be considered as a teacher or as nothing, unquote. A. Beaumont. Page 4. 15. Who said about Coleridge's Biographia Literaria, 1817, that it is, quote, among the few which constitute the very Bible of criticism, unquote. B. George Stain Sainsbury. 16. Who is the forerunner of the Vision School of Australian Poetry? B. Hugh McGee. 17. Martin Millis is the pseudonym of A. Martin Boyd. 18. Name the novelist who won the Premier's Prize in 2001 for his novel, The Dirt Music. C. Tim Winton. 19. The Solid Mandala, a pre-war urban Australian novel, is written by D. Patrick White. 20. Who wrote The History of Australian Literature in 1961? B. H. M. Green 21. Identify the correct group of writers known as Angry Young Men A. Kingsley Emmis, John Wynne, 
John Brain, John Osborne. 22. Graham Greene's The Power and the Glory was published in D. 1941. 23. Graham Greene and Evelyn Waff were both converts to C. Roman Catholicism. 24. A Man in Nirvana, 1958, a satire on contemporary spy novels was written by B. Graham Greene. 25. Name the Australian author who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1973. B. Patrick White. 26. Which of the following arrangements of A. G. Gardiner's works is in the correct chronological sequence? A. Pables on the Shore, Leaves in the Wind, The Pleasures of Ignorance, the Money Box, The Green Man, Dr. Johnson and Company. 27. Who among the following writers made remarkable contribution to the art of biography writing? C. Lytton Strachey. 28. The Oxford Poets of the Auden Group were also known as B. New Signatures. 29. William Golding was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in A. 1983. 30. In which year was Kingsley Ames knighted? C. 1990. 31. Quote, Here I am, comma, an old man in a dry month, being read to by a boy, comma, waiting for rain, unquote. A. These lines are extracted from A. T. S. Eliot's Gerontion, page 5. 32. Select the correct group of poems which appeared in T. S. Eliot's Four Quartets. A. Burnt Norton, East Coker, The Dry Salvages, Little Gidding. 33. Quote, the West Land expresses poignantly a desperate sense of the poet, comma, and the age's lack of positive spiritual faith, unquote, stop. Who among the following critics expressed this opinion about the West Land? C. A. G. Fraser. 34. A great essayist and journalist is known as, quote, Alpha of the Plough, unquote. Identify him. B. A. G. Gardiner. 35. Identify the author of Old Lamps for the New. A. Hilaire Belloc. 36. Quote. At school he had been a playlist daydreamer, comma. Yet even in those days, comma, he gathered around him a host of admiring listeners once he had begun to talk, unquote, stop. Identify the poet about whose personality this opinion refers to. C. S. T. Coleridge. 37. O lady, we receive what we give, and in our life does nature live. These lines occur in A. Coleridge's Ode to Dejection. 38. The Lady of the Lake is written by C. Sir Walter Scott. 39. Tennyson's In Memoriam was written in memory of B. Arthur Henry Hallam. 40. Who wrote the following lines? Quote, the old order changeth, yielding place to new, and God fulfills himself in many ways, lest one good custom should corrupt the world. Unquote. Stop. B. Lord Tennyson. 41. The periodical essay quote makes us familiar with world of men and women, comma, records their actions, comma, assigns their motives, comma, exhibits their whims, comma, characterizes their pursuits in all their singular and endless variety, comma, ridicules their absurdities, comma, exposes their inconsistencies, unquote, comma, Quote, holds the mirror up to nature, unquote, comma, quote, and shows the very age and body of the time, unquote, stop. 
identify the critic from the following group who express the above opinion. C. William Hazlitt 42. Quote, an archangel, a little damaged, unquote. Who used this phrase for S.T. Coleridge? D. Charles Reed 43. Who summed up Coleridge's personality in the following lines? Quote, a man of gigantic genius, he was absolutely wanting in willpower, comma, and his slavery to opium, comma, which lasted many years, comma, helped him still further to paralyze his energy stop. So the divinely gifted Coleridge stumbled through life, comma, dreaming great dreams and projecting great books, semicolon. But the dreams were never realized, comma, and the books were never written. B. Hartson Page 6 44. Which of the following arrangements of Coleridge's works is in correct chronological sequence? A. Religious Musings, The Destiny of Nations, Ode to the Departing Year, France and Ode, The Rhyme of the Ancient Marina, Christabel, Kubla Khan, Frost at Midnight. 45. Quote it was agreed that my endeavour should be directed to persons and characters, supernatural or at least romantic, comma, yet so as to transfer from our inward nature a human touch and a semblance of truth sufficient to procure for the shadows of imagination that willing suspension of disbelief for the moment which constitutes poetic faith, unquote stop. B. Coleridge in Biographia Literaria 46. Which of the following poems is not written by William Blake? D. Hymn to Adversity 47. Blake's Songs of Innocence is about A. The Glorification and Joys of Childhood 48. Blake denounced the subordination of women in B. Visions of the Daughters of Albion 49. Which of the following arrangements of Blake's poems is in the correct chronological sequence? A. The Poetical Sketches The Book of Thel The Songs of Innocence The Marriage of Heaven and Hell The Gates of Paradise The Vision of the Daughters of Albion The Songs of Experience 50. The periodical essay is called, quote, periodical, unquote, because it was, A. Published in magazines and journals which appeared periodically. 51. Milla Munt, M-I-L-L-A-M-N-T, comma, brilliant woman character, appears in, B. Congreves, The Way of the World. 52. In which year Collier, C-O-L-L-I-E-R, condemned in a pamphlet the Restoration Comedy of Manners, D. 1698. 53. Who wrote a short view of the profaneness of the English stage? B. Collier. 54. Who defended the Restoration Comedy of Manners against Collier's charge of immorality? A. Charles Lamb Page 7. 55. Who among the following poets composed the Cotter's Saturday Night and Tam O'Shanter? B. Robert Burns Para. Read the following passage carefully and answer the following questions, number 56 to 60. Bacon's character was full of contradictions. Macaulay said that he was the supreme example of shining intellect conjoined to and based moral nature. Bacon is the father of essay writing in English prose. He occupies a permanent place in prose due to his essays, ten in number which appeared in 1597. The second edition and the third edition raised the number of essays to 38 and 58 respectively. 
They are unfamiliar subjects and express, to quote his own words, quote, the dispersed meditations, unquote, of a trained and disciplined mind. They contain utilitarian wisdom and are written in clear, lucid and aphoristic style. Beckins' essays are a record of his outlook on world throughout the years of his active life. In his essay, Bacon writes, Rickett emerges as, quote, the pioneer of a clear, comma, sententious English that suggests that that suggests rather than expounds and blends dignity with familiarity in that pleasant and attractive manner which is the secret of the power of all our great essays. Stop, unquote. His images and figures of speech are simple and clearly illustrates the idea that he wishes to communicate. His essays are argumentative and objective, not personal and subjective. 56. Beckon is, quote, the first English essayist, comma, as he remains by sheer mass and weight of genius, unquote, stop. This opinion was expressed by D. Hugh Walker. 57. The third edition of Beckon's essays containing 58 essays appeared in A. 1625. 58. Beckon defined his essays as B. Dispersed Meditations. 59. Beckon borrowed the general conception of essay from A. Montaigne's essays. 60. Name the critic who summed up Beckon's character in the following couplet. If parts allured thee, think how Beckon shined the wisest, brightest, and meanest of mankind. See Alexander Pope. 61. The Rebel Chief, a Romans of New Zealand, a novel as Maori Life, is written by C. Hume Nisbet. 62. The Maori at Home is a famous novel by A. John White. 63. Identify the correct group of novelists who pioneered the feminist fiction in New Zealand. B. Eileen Ellis Vogel. 64. Name the critic who enunciated the theory of deconstruction. A. Jack Derrida. 65. Who pioneered the feminist criticism? C. Ellen Showalter. 66. The broad charge which aimed at promoting the cooperation of different groups and nationalities consisted of B. Benjamin Joet, Mark Pattison, A. P. Stanley, page 8. 67. Which of the following arrangements of Dickens's novels is in correct chronological sequence? A. Pickwick Papers. Nicholas Nickel by Oliver Twist, Old Curiosity Shop, Barna by Raj, R-U-D-G-E, Martin Chuzelwit, A Christmas Carol, Dombey and Son, David Copperfield, Hard Times, A Tale of Two Cities, Great Expectations. 68. Riders to the Sea is a play written by A. J. M. Singe. 69. Which of the following arrangements of Goldsworthy's plays is in the correct chronological order? D. The Silver Box, Strife, Justice, The Skeen Game, Loyalties, Escape. 70. Falder is a character in A. Goldsworthy's Justice. 71. Sir Ralph Bloomfield Bonington is a character in G. B. Shaw's C. The Doctor's Dilemma. 72. G. B. Shaw started writing dramatic criticism for C. The Saturday Review. 73. The Problem Play is also known as A. The Drama of Ideas. 74. Identify from the following options the dramatist who does not introduce any villain in his plays. 
C. G. B. Shaw. 75. Who, what was the most revolutionary deed done by Aristotle regarding human rights and freedom which he did before his death? C. He liberated all his slaves through his will. Stop.